Testing, testing. Hello, everybody. How's it going? I'm the Checkpoint Professor. Today, we're going to be playing some of the nominations for the 2023 Independent Games Festival finalists. Uh, these are the games that will be played at the Game Developers Conference in March to find out what are the best of the best indie games. Uh, but my focus is going to be on the best student games. We're going to do the student games, but also probably uh, play some of the indie games later. All right, so winter 1851 in French, Les Country, as the French political system changed brutal. Sounds like a political game after the Napoleon III's coup d'etat. The countryside was in turmoil at the same time an evil lurked over the people. Villages were reported empty of the inhabitants while your, your fellow gendarme officers... I, I may be totally messing up the pronunciation on that. We're ordered to defend the newly reborn empire. You were sent alone to investigate these mysterious disappearances. Through your power, you can see a fraction of the past in footprints. Okay, you must solve the thick mystery surrounding the vanishing of the villagers, which some locals seem to attribute to the return of the beast of Gavadin. Oh my goodness, okay. Jure options credit oh, Jure is play right this is a there may be a this is not a, a US based game oh no it's uh it's not in English we may have troubles apues sur entry pour continuer I think that means press enter to continue we'll see if we can do this even without uh okay 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 so this is a little uh first person type I love the art style first of all they went for this painterly kind of memory type uh, feel. From a level design standpoint, this is great. So you've got uh, an enclosure on the left-hand side. You've got this path. So we know right where to go. Uh, press shift to do something. Okay. Uh, okay, shift didn't do anything. I don't know how far we're gonna make it through this game. This could, this may be actually a very serious topic, but I have no idea because I, um, my limited uh, linguistic skills. Looks like we can hop out on these rocks though. Okay, so you can right mouse button to zoom in and check stuff out. That's cool. I mean, so far, a really nice little walking simulator so far. Uh, we're talking about walking simulators in class. Look at my shadow. Nice. So I've got a trench coat on and a hat. The big question is what happens if I fall off? Uh, uh, let's find out. Oh, your glass walled. Okay, great. So they've glass wall. Okay, so they keep you safe. They know where you can walk and where you can't. Smart, smart developers. Uh, they've definitely done some some bug fixing because more than likely people are going to try to do that. Okay, here are some footsteps. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> so a little girl with a dog chasing it. So you can kind of see the past through these footsteps. That is cool. That's a cool mechanic. Apues sur F pour ouvrir to watch. <clears throat> I think that says press F to watch some past mental viewings, maybe? Let's see. Oh, it's to save them. Okay. I don't know what to do. I thought maybe you saved them as cards. Uh, si es votre palais mental, si es que vous pourrez formular de hypothesis. So we form a hypothesis for what happened to these people. So that, Le Bet, that's the beast, right? Emile Mousseron and the dog. Q? Oh, yeah, what is this? So they seem, they seem happy, I think. I don't know, I don't know what to do. <clears throat> okay, I, vous pouvez retrouve Q and D. Okay, Q and D move you back and forth through these actions that I can't change. So the dog and the kid, right, they're, they were playing with each other, so I was gonna say hug, right? This one right here, but I can't choose them. So I don't know what to do. Uh, we got we got problems, this is the language barrier. <clears throat> so I, I really, <clears throat> I like this game so far. If I could find someone that speaks maybe some French and tells me how to do this, you would think you would click on that and add one of these. Okay, that I mean that's fine. I just don't know what to do. Actions, persons. Oh, now I can do it. So here's the dog, and now we'll get it. Okay, why can I move these now? 
they're friends. That's my hypothesis. Vu Aves formula and hypothesis. I've made a hypothesis. Is that wrong? Okay, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to leave. I want to go back to the game. Okay. I mean, they look like friends, right? <clears throat> okay, let's see what happened. Oh, no! What's he doing? <clears throat> He's just cleaning. Oh, no, they're sad. So, definitely a walking simulator you go through. So, you're a detective kind of breaking down what happened in the city, right? Uh, you've got these stairwells. Oh, no! The dog! What happened to it? Um, I, I don't... Oh, wait, wait, did that say Langui? Menu principle? Oh, I think I broke the game. Listen, developers, I, I would love an English version of this. Uh, for anyone developing games, if you if you ever can translate your games into another language, it expands your market extensively. I mean, this seems like a really awesome game, actually. It sounds like very entertaining. It's one I would actually love to show uh, as a walking sim in one of my classes, but... <clears throat> Unfortunately, I don't speak French, so we're gonna we're gonna move on. Okay, description: When when her boyfriend disappears at a sinister party, she can't remember. Lena agrees to a procedure that will resurface her suppressed memories. You're the operator, a mind diver. Swim through Lena's mind as if it were an ocean, and use mind diving tools and logical deduction to solve a dark mystery of love, death, betrayal, and self delusion. So far, both games seem to be going through memories and solving problems. Uh, so you, you can tell the theme. What the judges for the uh, for this uh, IGF competition like, right? They, they seem to delve on the mystery solving the human condition type of games rather than the traditional type of video games you'd think. So Mind Diver is a first person detective game. Its unique investigation deduction structure is developed in consultation with world leaders in puzzle design, like Lucas Pope, creator of Return of the Obra Dinn. Uh, you will come across unexpected discoveries, explore a fascinating mind world, and make surprising deductions. Consultation with world leaders in puzzle design. I wonder who are the other world leaders in and how they consulted with them. I'm, I'm very curious about that. So this game is not actually playable. We can't actually play it. We can watch a video of it. A 44 second video. <clears throat> oh, so they're using, they're using uh, scans, real world scans to create these. An interesting choice. So it's an interesting choice of game development. So it so instead of actually modeling and texturing your assets, you do these 3D scans. So everyone watching, you want to win IGF, just make a 40 second video of potential gameplay. Okay, this one's called Presenter Slides by Matthias Shifter and Bryn Zvan. Here we go, Presenter Slides. This one is on Steam, by golly. I'm excited about that. Okay, so an unconventional adventure into the corporate world of presentation software. Improve office pro productivity by 200% and impress your boss by performing a myriad of mundane tasks such as shuffling paperwork, working out in the gym, crossing a desert, talking to NPCs, writing, and more. Uh, for true presenters, a physical CD release enables you to impress your bosses on even the oldest of hardware. So this one, I need to go to uh, Steam then. There it is. Okay, there's a, there's a $3.99 version, a license, and a free version. So let's check out the free version. Here we go. Presenter slides. Oh, we can't even go full stream. Welcome, press space. Press space to advance the slideshow. Disclaimer. Presenter Slides is best played with a uh, connected webcam. These webcam recordings is local and not sent. Will you do webcam recordings of me? If possible, connect a webcam and restart the software. Disclaimer. This enterprise software may potentially trigger seizures for people with photosensitive epilepsy. Yeah, they've got this like gritty thing going over it. Consumer discretion is advised. Side effects. Common 1 in 10 employees, frustration, tinnitus, nausea, dis disorientation, mild death. Rare 1 in 100 employees, upset stakeholders. 
Introducing Presenter Slides, unregistered presentation. Follow along to learn Presenter Slides features. Uh, presenter Slides features state-of-the-art pivot tables, gorgeous pie charts, professional sounds. Gorgeous pie, okay, gorgeous pie charts, pie charts, pie charts. Oh, I skipped, I skipped the pie charts. Please move the pie chart using the arrow keys. Okay, it is a game, my friend. Let's move them. Wait. Horace, how's it going? Um, so we get the red screen of death now. All I tried to do is move my pie chart. No drive detected. Okay. Abandoning search. Warning system is unstable. Would this be like considered an alt game or something different? Welcome to hell. Loading version 1.03. Okay. Unregistered presenter slides. Okay. Oh, look, you can move this little guy. Okay. Let's move him all the way over. Checkpoint enabled. We got a checkpoint. Checkpoint professor. Okay. Uh, okay, we got a choice now. We can go up or down. Let's go to the checkpoint. Weird. This game just turned weird. What's this? Not enough. Not enough. You are too weak to push this. Okay, okay. Let's go up. Oh, now you're in a first person game. Okay, so somebody's stuck in the desert. So we're, we're walking through the desert now. But what are we walking towards? It seems like there's something over here. Everything's kind of blurry. What an interesting game. You've died. Hell will take you back to the desert with the following asterisks. Life 100, okay. Okay, now we're back. Um. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. What are we supposed to... This looks like the path, right? Wait, what is... What's that little thing at the bottom? That's my life. So as soon as that ends, I'm dead. There's water right there. See that? There's There was water! Strength, zero, 01. Life, 100. Money, zero, 06. This, this game is interesting. This is interesting. I think that is my water. So that's my hydration level. Okay, here we are. We're back. Should I not do the desert? What's this way? Nothing. What's this way? Okay, you can't get through. So I have to go through the desert. I have to go through the desert or down here where these people are. So there's a boat. Checkpoint updated the ferry dock. You are broke. Okay, so I need money for the ferry. So we've seen the gating me mechanisms. We have to make it through the forest. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, look, there's water right behind him. Okay, so let's get this water. Yep, okay. We drank the water. There's another water over here. We're going to make it to this one. I know we can do it because we just drank some water. No! Okay. We figured it out. And there's another... I think there's another water right here. Yes. Okay. We're going to find his Froilein in the desert because he can't do it himself. Uh, I don't see any waters anywhere else. That's where... There's one. We're going for that one. I think his Froilein's over by that thing. Maybe this is where we went, came from. I don't know. I think there's one there. You can see a little bit of blue. A little bit of blue. Okay, I think that's the goal. That's the goal. For indie games like this, I want like a 10 or 15 minute experience, honestly. Okay, there's a door. We, did it. we made it through the desert. Okay. Am I stronger now? Okay, there's a building up there. Is this, this is the gym. Press space to talk. Welcome to the gym. My name is Ingrid. Welcome to my health. <laughs> Welcome to my health. I am sure you are very excited to get buff, strong, and vicious. I will help you achieve all and more in only a few steps. We are now on step one. Are you ready for step two? Yes. Okay. For this to work, I will monitor you. We will use your webcam. Uh, we'll see if it works. Perfect. Thank you. I am now watching. I will give you an exercise when I detect that you did it on the camera. We will move on. Is that okay? Sure. I don't think I'm, I don't think my webcam is working. Let's test it out. Please stand up. Hey, no buttons. Do the exercise. There's no way they can tell that I stand up. Let's see. Don't press buttons. I did. I stood up. Okay. 
It's not gonna work. Okay, fantastic, come back. You have a nice body. Smiley face. I bet you will have no problem with our exercises. First on our program is a squat. Oh my gosh, I don't wanna do it. No, okay then, okay then. Oh, wait, so if I don't do it, wait, what happened now? It's broken. Opening wind workout, aren't they impressive? I, my, I don't wanna go through that again. And I can't tell if the game is just paused or if I should be going doing something else. So I just should have just said yes to everything uh, because now nothing will work. That might be the end of this game. It, see, it, it was very entertaining though. We are going to end it. We're gonna end it. In Shudder, you play as Keith, a new employee that has arrived at the mysterious research center, LIE, learn, investigate, and exploit, lie. Explore and solve puzzles with a camera that modifies objects using perspective all in a space-aged inspired setting. So I've seen games like this before. Let's see if they create a new uh, take on it. Shutter. All right, made in Unreal, baby, by Artifacts, School of Digital Arts. Also, Scoop, Audio Workshop, and something, something. Okay, press any key to continue. It's pretty, so it's kind of a retro uh, Art Deco kind of style. There's a, we're flying, oh, here's Keith, straight from that meteor. Nice little cutscene here, getting up, establishing the game. Nice game design, so you can see he, they place you in a room, but definitely your focus is to get out of the room through that doorway. Uh, fixed camera. No, it's not fixed. Okay, I can look around. Learn, investigate, exploit. I love it. Uh, pretty game. So we are going to, I'm going to assume, wait, there's something. There's a beacon. All right, me too. I can't wait either. Okay, let's go, Keith. Press spacebar to jump or climb. Okay, so it's a little platforming action. Okay, anything else? I do like that there are, I like that there are markers over things I have to pick up in an indie game. I don't want to sit and search for stuff forever. Okay, awesome. Take and close. Okay, we have the magazine. Interesting, like this, this you can't walk through here. I guess you can jump over tables. We can climb. Nice, and I like the... That yellow kind of on there. Okay. Which door? Which door? This door? There's a door there. There's also a door here and a door here. We're still investigating. We're still exploring. Maybe that was the door. Maybe I had to open it. Uh, here I can see everything that's going on within the facilities. So already I think we so we solved the first puzzle of how to get through that door. There is a light around the door. Notice here that uh, neon light on the back wall actually tells you, I, I assume that's a clue, that you have the door and the answer are both connected by that neon light. I don't see those guiding lines anywhere else. So nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's go. Let's see if that continues. What? Okay, I put my belongings in the tray and pulled the lever. Oh no, they took my possessions. They took my possessions. Okay, now we can go forward. All right. I think I will. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see. Can I just... Okay, so do I have to do something to open the door? Oh, I took my possessions. Great. And now I can enter. Okay, let's get our... Where's my camera? Uh, dimensional camera prototype. That's what it looks like a gun, right? Take it. Take the picture. What do I do? Place it. Interesting. Okay. That's not even what I took a picture of, though. Why did the picture turn into a computer? Okay, then. Let's do it, then. Let's take a picture of one of these boxes. Oh, okay. Look at that. It highlights a box. Okay. I get it. So now, okay. 
I see what's going on. Oh, okay, middle mouse you can drag up and down. So we want it to be like right there. There we go. Oh, now I need to place it. Now I need to place a box on there. We'll make it bigger. Oh, moving it close to your face. <clears throat> nope, it's not big enough. We need more weight. Oh, that's kind of cool. We need it bigger. Get it close to your face, bro. There we go. So, so I'll say my analysis right now of this game is I would say to the designers for this being a student game, they're giving this illusion that you can take a picture of anything, but you can't. It's specific objects to, to solve specific puzzles with a specific mechanic of scaling that object as the, as the picture moves closer to your face. It's total smoke and mirrors and then places that object. I actually really like how they're doing it. The music is getting creepy. Okay, let's do it. Let's take the stairs. Wait, nope, stairs. <laughs> take the stairs. I took the wrong stairs. Okay, take the stairs. Get it? Do you get it? No, maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you don't actually take the stairs. Oh, they move up. Cool. I solved the problem. I thought I was going to take the stairs, like take a picture of the stairs. Game player, how's it going, my friend? Uh, hold R to run. Casual. I pushed, I pushed the casual button. No hat. So he he needs a hat, I'm assuming. I feel I feel like maybe I should be busting out the camera to figure some stuff out. Okay, floor one. Is this the puzzle? Okay, I can't oh I can get through here. Okay, I think I'm looking for a hat, guys. Up the stairs or down the stairs? That has a red uh this means you can't open it, right? Nope. Oh, look at this. Okay, use the camera to clean up the mess. I can't grab anything, though. Okay, here's... Okay. Uh, I am not cleaning up a mess. Sorry, guys. All right, fun little Easter egg, I guess. Gamer Herald, thanks for the super chat. You are a gentleman and a scholar. Okay. Oh, I did... Wait, what? What do I do with that? Does this help me clean up the mess? Let's go up the stairs and see if I can solve the puzzle with that thing. That would have shown me that thing again. Look, I think you can put it in here. Doesn't it look like it kind of belongs there? No. No, it doesn't. Oh, now I dropped it. Uh, please be advised that upon failure to follow your confidential agreement, we are terminating your employment for breach of contract. This termination is effective immediately. Please relinquish all company property to your supervisor at once. If you dispute these findings, severe disciplinary action will be taken. Okay, so we read it. Let's take it. There's that. So I can take that again, but what do I do with it? Put it on the button above that door. Is there, is there a button up there? Run, Keith, run. Oh, there is a button. Dang it. Maybe if I... Oh, look at that! It's ma... Okay, wait a minute. It's massive now. Is it still massive? Look at that! Oh my goodness. Horus is a mad titan. <laughs> We're running. Are we missing something? No. Robbie is your friend. Nice art deco design. Trust science. Uh, so we made it through this room, but there's nothing, there's no, where to go. Oh, you locked me in. You locked me in. Okay, so there's got to be a way to solve something here. Oh, there it is. Oh my goodness. Why did I not see that? Oh, it's so simple. It's so simple. A caveman could do that. Okay, so there's the rocket ship. There's a train going through. Uh, this is this is cool. That is visually from a level design. That's super super interesting. Okay, another puzzle. The big mirror. There, that's what I grab. Boom. Is that not gonna open for me? Is it too big? Maybe it's maybe it's got to be just the right size. It, 
So what? What's the problem? Oh, and, and something little in there. I mean, it could be the same box, right? Oh, so me and the the item. It took. T no, I need another one. Oh, let's grab something else. So, oh, it's in there. That just makes perfect sense. So I grab the door and we're gonna put the door over here. There we go. There we go! I'm gonna take a picture of that. And we're gonna place that computer somewhere. Where's the puzzle? There it is. The computer. Enables. Oh, we did it! What do we what do we do with the computer now? It's gotta be up here. So we enabled we disabled the gravity. <clears throat> now I feel like we we can go back the other way, but I wanna go back. There's a door there too. Oh, there's a giant computer down there now. So that floating computer didn't matter. But this, this is what we want. I feel like that's special. So let's leave this here. I want that. I want to keep that. Let's get a box. Okay, now I want that again. I think I think we need that. Oh, there's nothing in here. Wait. What did that do? Elevator. It's an elevator, guys. We want to take the elevator too. So I'm going to grab this again. Now I'm going to grab this again. Because I still want that. Take the elevator. Very cool game. Clues in here. Any clues? No. Nothing to grab. Okay. Here we go. Oh, wait. This just took us in a loop. Why? Robbie the robot. Okay, we'll take it. We may need that. Look at that. There's a, sp a rocket ship. Now I feel like I want the rocket ship. No, I can't take that either. We're going to keep this. I haven't, I haven't heard from Robbie in a long time. Certificate of death. Learn, investigate, explore. Hereby certifies the death of blank, Mr. Dear Employee. Oh, man. That's brutal. That's where I just was. Okay. Uh, the big spiny thing in the middle. I think the crystal goes in there. What spiny thing? There's a spiny thing? I think you're probably right, but where is it? There's a door over there, though. But I can't figure out how to get to it. I wish we could have solved this level. I have to actually go to class in just a minute. I was hoping to clear this level before class. We have to put a pause in it. There's got there's something obvious that I'm missing. I can't put it inside there as much as I want to. See? There's a hat! Look at that! I'm gonna take it. Look at that! I got a cowboy hat now! Yes, we've at least we've at least got a cowboy hat. Okay, so someone told me there's a big spiny circle. I don't I don't see a big spiny circle thing. I'm looking right at it. That thing I can't put it in there though. I'm looking right at it. That thing I can't put it in there. I I don't think. See, if I get close, it doesn't place. Yeah, that, it won't let you place it in there. That's an air vent, and you can't put it through a window. Can't put it in there. There's gotta be a clue, though. Something I'm missing. 